This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. All right, we're still uh, looking at cash management, which is the um, chapter six of the free lecture notes. In the previous lectures, uh, the first one, uh, we had a chat about uh, the reasons for holding short-term cash. Uh, in the last lecture, I went through the first of the three techniques you're supposed to be aware of, which were cash budgets, which is certainly very important. This lecture is on something called the Baumol model. Um, Mr. Baumol uh, invented it, which I'm not sure I think is terribly practical. You'll see what I mean as we go through it. I don't really like it, but it's in the syllabus, although the examiner... I think I'm right in saying he's only ever mentioned it twice uh, in the whole history of the exam, you know, in the last 10 or 15 years. So um, it's said the least important of the three, but for safety we better go through it. And as you'll see, that there is a formula, and the whole idea of it is actually very, very similar to the logic we, we used in inventory control. So, you know, if you haven't uh, been through the lectures on inventory control, do, because I don't have to explain all the logic all over again. But uh, to explain uh, what it is and how we apply it, next year, look at example two, sorry, example two. Next year, a company forecasts a cash requirement of 1.5 million. That's how much cash we think we need next year. Uh, the use being constant throughout the year. So, you know, whatever that divided by 12 is, is how much we expect to need each month. We've got plenty of investments. We've investments in excess of this amount, which are earning us 9.5% a year. And so, what we're going to have to do, since we need 1.5 million, we're going to have to sell some of our investments. Uh, we earn interest of 5% on our current account bank balance. And the cost of selling investments is $150 per transaction. So we know we're going to have to sell investments to get the cash we need. Uh, and there's a charge each time. Every time we sell any investments, there's a charge of $150. And so how am I going to get the cash I need? We could sell investments at the beginning of the year of one and a half million. We've got enough for the year then. It had only cost us 150 in transaction, but we'd be losing interest on the whole one and a half million for the whole year. And so what might be better is to say, well, Let's sell 750,000, half the one and a half million, every six months. Because if we sell 750,000 uh, every six months, then okay, we're having to sell twice, which means paying $150 twice during the year, but we'll only be losing interest on the 750,000 for the first six months. And then of course, so another 750, we'll have sold a total of one and a half million for the second six months. But we'll be losing less interest. And so on. Uh, there's any number of possibilities. Um, how often we sell our investments, the more sales we make, then the more 150s we're going to have to pay during the year. But the more sales we make, the less we'll be selling each time, and so the less interest, that 9.5% we'll, we're losing. And to show you how it works, look at part A. Suppose we decide to sell 150,000 of investments each time. Calculate the total cost per year to the company. Well, there are three things we need to consider. First of all, every time we make a sale, uh, we've got the cost of selling. So the selling costs 
Or in here, how much will it cost us? Well, it'll be the number of sales we make. Well, we need one and a half million in total. If we're selling 150,000 each time, we'll make 10 sales during the year. Uh, and the cost, well, times the cost each time. which is 150. So over a year, it'll cost us 1,500. Uh, what else, what other cost? Well, there's the lost interest. And what we do is this, we say, well, the first sale, um, we're selling the, what is it? I've lost it. Oh, let's rub that out because it confuses. Remember, we're selling 150,000 each time. So we make the first sale and we're losing interest on 150,000. But then we sell another 150. So then we're losing interest on a total of 300,000. Then later we sell another 150. We're then losing interest on 450,000 uh, and so on. And by the end of the year, we've ended up selling all one and a half million. And we're losing interest on the full one and a half million. So at the beginning, we're just losing interest on 150. By the end, when we've got all the money out, we're losing interest on one and a half million. Well, we say on average, how much are we losing money on? So the average withdrawal at the beginning of the year, first sale, 150,000 starters going, we're only losing interest on that much. By the end of the year, we've had 10 sales and we've, we're losing interest on the full one and a half million. And so the average, we're losing interest on average over the year, 150 plus one and a half million. is 825,000. And how much interest are we losing? 9.5% that our investments are currently earning. 825, 9.5%, 78,375,000. There's one thing which what you might call helps us, makes things not quite as bad, in that every time we sell any uh, investments, we the money goes into our current account. So what happens, you see, a little picture over time, uh, we sell investments for 150,000. So we've got 150,000 that we can put on our current account and earn interest, uh, we'll use it. So uh, as we use it, it'll fall to zero. Then we sell another 150 and we can put that in our current account, but it gradually goes down over time and so on. Well, any money in the current account will be earning us interest at 5%. And so although we've got those two big costs, we are going to be earning interest on our current account, and the amount we'll earn, you're earning interest on 150, but then to zero, and on average, it's as though we're earning interest on 75,000 throughout the year. And so, to get the net cost of it all, the interest earned We're selling 150 each time, so, as I just tried to explain, our current account balance, 150 down to zero, back to 150 and so on, the average in the current account is 150 over 2, 75,000. And we're earning interest on it in the current account at, what was it, 5%. 
which reduces the overall cost uh, that's involved. 75,005% uh, will earn interest of 3750. So the overall cost of this policy, 1500 plus 78,375 minus 3750, 76,125 per year. Now that's if we sell 150,000 each time, but as I said earlier, there's any number of possibilities. Uh, we could sell 200,000 each time. We sold 200,000 each time. Uh, we'd need fewer sales, so that selling cost over the year would be lower. But on the other hand, if it was 200,000 each time, we'd be losing more interest, that cost would be higher. The figures would change. And what we want, of course, is to decide how much should we sell each time to minimize the total cost. Well, just like with inventory control, there is a formula. And it's actually the same formula, the same basic logic. That the economic quantity to sell each time. Should it be 150 each time? Should it be 200 each time? And so on, to give the minimum cost. It's the same formula, effectively, as I say, as inventory control. It's two times, well, I'm not going to copy the whole formula down because you've got it. Two times, I put it in the notes, two times the annual cash requirement times the cost of ordering the cash, the selling costs, over the net interest cost of holding cash. Now, rather than write all that down because it's typed, for our question, let me explain what each means. Two times the annual cash required. Well, for example, two, the total we require over the year is 1.5 million. Times the cost of ordering cash. Well, that's the cost of selling our investments each time. Um, the cost of selling investments, 150 per transaction. divided by the net interest cost of holding cash. What that means, we could be earning on our investments, or we are earning, 9.5%. So sell the investments and you're losing that 9.5%, but we can earn 5% in the current account. So we say the net interest cost is 9.5% or 0 0.09. 9.5% is 0 0.095 minus 5%, 5% is 0 0.05. So the net interest cost is the difference of 4.5% or 0 0.045. And so what does that give us? And again, I mentioned it earlier, chapter, you must have a scientific calculator for this exam, otherwise you're going to have to mess around because one and a half million won't fit. But what does it come to? Two times uh, 1.5 million times 150 divided by 0 0.045 equals uh, 1 to the power 10 or something. Uh, the square root of that is 100,000. So that's the economic quantity. We did it in part A, selling 150,000 each time. Uh, the cheapest cost would be to sell 100,000 each time. Uh, and part C says, at the EOQ, at the economic quantity, what is the total cost per year? Let's check, and let's check it is a, a lower cost than what we had before. Again, the three costs, uh, the selling costs, 
Well, how many sales do we need to make? It's one and a half million in total. We're selling 100,000 each time. And so there'll be 15 sales. And each time costs us 150. And so over a year, Two two fifty. There's the lost interest on our investments, and just like the before, the beginning of the year we're only losing interest on a hundred thousand because we've only made that one sale, but by the end of the year we're losing interest on the full one and a half million. So on average, we're losing interest on, uh, 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 I've got it in my head, 800,000. We're losing interest at 9.5%. So the lost interest, 76,000. Finally, though, although it's, that's the interest we're losing, we are saving a bit the interest on our current account and this time because we're selling 100,000 each time the balance in our current account keeps going between 100 and 0 so on average there's 50,000 in the current account and that's earning us, yes, 5%, 50,000, 5% will receive interest of 2,500. And so what's the net cost if we sell 100,000 each time? 2,250 plus 76,000 minus 2,500. 75,750. And is that cheaper than what we had before? Yes, it is. 150 each time was costing 76,125. This is only costing 75,750. Uh, that doesn't prove this is the best, uh, but try any quantity you want 200,000 each time, 50,000 each time, and so on any other quantity, the total cost over the year will be higher. The optimum, the best quantity to sell each time, um, is from the formula, uh, 100,000. So there we are, that's Baumol. I repeat what I said at the beginning, that I'm not sure how practical that is, you know, quite frankly. I think it's a tiny bit silly for most companies. But uh, to be safe, you better make sure you're happy with it. It's arithmetic, it's not hard, especially uh, if you're happy with inventory control. OK, well, that's Baumol. There's one last technique, which I'll deal with in the next lecture, which is actually, I think, much more realistic. But you'll see something called Miller or.